What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? If this is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back, back for another episode of Poke Russ vs. the League, where we jump into VG's 2017 format, take on some people, see what we can do. The team just changed a little bit since the last episode. We changed out two mons. Um, I have a couple more, like I said, in the works. We're gonna bring in this team. We replaced the Toga de Maru for a Raichu. And actually we replaced three of the mons. So that's pretty cool. We placed the we placed Toga tomorrow. We replaced the Tapu Bulu, and we replaced the. Uh, let's do Guardian Deity. We haven't done that one in a while. <clears throat> so um, I put the Arcanine over the horse, and I put the uh, bear over the Tapu Bulu. Uh, okay, so we have a 1450 rated player. I didn't see where they were from. Hans vs VPS. He has a Salamence, a Snorlax, which might be a bit of a problem. A Gartana, a Feeny, a Marowak, and a Metagross. Metagross will be coming to the channel soon, don't you guys worry. Okay, so looking at his team... <laughs> Arcanine might not be bad here. He is a defensive Arcanine. He's not actually a full-out attacking Arcanine. Um, I know my opponent's definitely going to bring that Marowak, because I have the Raichu and the Tapu Bulu. Uh, beware might not actually be horrible here, actually. Um, let's bleed with... We lead with a Beware. The Beware is, beware is a Salt Vest. Let's lead with a Beware and the Gyarados. Um, get that Intimidate off and allows me to do free Earthquakes. Um, I think for the back... I definitely want to bring the Arcanine somewhere in here. And probably the Coco. Though I don't really have... I might bring the Raichu, because the Raichu has a better way of hitting the... Um... Which just was HP Ice Raichu. Um... We'll go with Raichu. Okay. So that's what we're going to lock in with. What's a Raichu's item? Oh yeah, it's locked GMC. Okay. So looking at this team, I do like the Beware here. The Beware is a bit offensive. It's still an Assault Vest variant, but um, we're going to play around with it a little bit. I still have a lot of faith in Beware, even if the Assault Vest isn't what it needs to be. There's a Feeny and a Metagross. Okay, so good leads on our part, I think. So we have the Gyarados and the Beware. We have the Assault Vest doing probably loads of work here. The Psychic, the whatever Psychic move from that uh, Metagross is going to be quite an issue. The Intimidate not really mattering here. So we know Dragon moves are weakened in this one, not status moves. So if we need a status, we can. Um. Part of me wants to double up into that Metagross slot. Um, do I want to keep Beware in here? Beware does have that fluffy ability, so it should be able to take something from that Metagross, potentially, as long as it's not the Z-move. Um, let's leave the Beware in here, because if, if anything, that's what it'll target. We'll go for the EQ. I kind of want to just double into this Metagross slot here. We can go straight for the Electrium Z, or no, I'm sorry, the Earth, the Z-move for the ground. Oh, and I... I wasn't paying attention, and I took too much time. Okay, so there's the there's a Dragon Dance. See if we can get it to be a free Dragon Dance. Because if he targets the Metagross, or if he targets the Bear, he might be okay. There's a Calm Mind on Feeny. Metagross going for the Zen Headbutt. Indoor Beware, we take that like a freaking champ. That's a three-hit KO. Oh, I'm loving that. Okay. That's a three-hit KO onto the Metagross slot. Okay. But we outspeed the Metagross now. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that Feeny with a nice hammer. No. Mm, let's just go for another... Let's go for, for, for a facade into the Feeny. And we're gonna go for a Z earthquake into that Metagross slot because he knows he can't won't be KO'd from it this turn. He might swap it out. 
But you just might use the Feeny to take out the Beware. The Feeny has the plus two Moon Blast right now. Which is fine if I lose my Beware if I can get rid of this Metagross here. Tapu Feeny uses Protect, which is completely fine. We see a Protect on the Metagross slot as well. No, but we do see my Z move go off into the Metagross slot. Tectonic Rage right into that uh, Metagross slot. That should be enough to take out the Metagross. So good, 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 good free turn for us here. Okay, so there goes the Metagross. No problems, and our Bearware survives another turn. Absolutely perfect. I think he was trying to avoid the Earthquake plus the Z-move damage from Gyarados onto his Feeny. I think that's what he was going for there. There's the Kartana. We have a really nice hammer arm right coming right for it. Um, and I think we just click Waterfall as well. Between the two of them, it should be enough. Even if it's sashed, it should be able to take it out. If we take around, take out everybody around Feeny, I feel like we're going to be in a much better position. Because Feeny, I mean, Feeny can do dirty damage. It does have one Calm Mind up, so I do have to watch. But I feel like, because of its bulk, I feel like it might be a little bit kind of productive to try and focus it down right now. Especially with that card trying up um, almost promising a beast boost turn. We have a plus one waterfall going into that Cartana slot. Usually Cartanas don't run protect. Um, there is a waterfall. Not gonna do too too much. Let's see what goes for the Leaf Blade into that. Do we live it? Do we live it? Do we live it? Yes we live it! Moonblast into the bear as well. Are you going into the bear? Are you going into the... Yes! Okay, we're good. We're good. The bear is going to take out this Kartana here. Oh, Kartana avoided. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that would have probably just literally won us the game right there. Um, the bear's not doing too much here other than... Let's actually... No, you want... Let's switch the bear out. Into the Arcanine. Get the Intimidate off. And let us get another nice free hit on, on it. We could protect. Assumably the type of Fini who kind of wants to go into that slot. Now let's go into the wa let's go Waterfall into Kartana. Get as much damage off on it as possible. If we lose the Gyarados here. It's not the end of the world. Beware comes back. We get the Intimidate off on the Kartana. Kartana uses Protect, okay. If... Okay. She goes for a Moonblast into our, our Gyarados. Okay, no, that was a safe play. That was a safe play there. Because she's going to take out a Gyarados here. There goes our Gyarados. Feeny's almost back at full. Uh, Feeny is now turned into the real threat. Karna, we still have that Kartana. They're both real big threats, to be honest. Um, we're gonna flamethrower into. Flamethrower into Kartana, and we're going to also, um, should probably fake out the Feeny. I mean, it's, um, the Kartana's threatening us with a nice slash, uh, but there's nothing else I can really do. I mean, I could have doubled up into that Kartana slot. He withdraws Kartana into, what is this fourth Mon? Okay, good, good, good. So the, the, the fire won't do too much here. Uh, but that Marowak is kind of butts right now, because I don't have anything that's going to really... Hmm. 
the best I can go for is for a snarl, snarl here. Um, it hits the Marowak super effective, and it will lower that Feeny's special attack stat by one stage. Um, we protect with the... Do we protect or do we go into the Marowak slot? We go into the Marowak slot with a Psychic. Because maybe with a Psychic plus a Snarl, we can take it down. But it might it, it might just protect the Marowak because um, Marowak uses Protect. See, I, I make the calls, but I make them slightly too late. I have a little bit of a trick. Nah, I can't really call it a Trigger Finger because of how limited on time I am. But it's kind of butts. If I had the Focus Sash on Raichu here, it'd be significantly better if I had the Focus Sash actually on my Cartana, or not my Cartana, my Tapu Koko. So there's the Muddy Water. It's going to do a lot of damage here. It ooh, will take out my Arcanine. It will not, but it will proc its Papa Berry. Um, it did not proc its Papa Berry. Are you kidding? Okay. Well, this is what I get for running those 25% berries on mods that aren't supposed to be ran with them. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do the snarl thing again. Yeah. Um and I think we do the protect thing. No, we go for the psychic, because we know he's not gonna protect with the Marowak this turn, so this is our chance to take out the Marowak. Um we will probably there's a Psychic onto it. That will be close to enough. Okay, this will be enough to pick up the KO on the Marowak. And the Tapu Fini is weakened. We're going to lose our Arcanine here. There's the Muddy Water. Arcanine actually avoids, which is pro. We know we live it with uh, Raichu. Better than we did before. We do get the accuracy loss there, so that's kind of bots. Tapu Fini is backed up to full health, but he doesn't have a switch in, so this Tapu Fini is actually really, really weak, but our guys are also kind of weak. Um, I think the play here is to... Arcanine's gonna Morning Sun, and Raichu is going to go into the... Raichu's gonna Thunderbolt into... No, he's gonna Psychic into the... Oh, neither of them are very effective. Let's go for the T-Bolt, then. T-Bolt into the Car Cartana slot. Cartana uses Protect. Okay. That's fine. I think I think we live another... Uh, what's it called from here? I think we live another mu Muddy Water with a Raichu. Goes for the Moon Blast. Into the Raichu slot. Do we live it? Ooh, no, it was a crit. I bet if we, it wasn't a crit, we would have lived it. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. I have no clue, honestly. Uh, we bring out the bear. The big bad bear. Like, I almost wish the bear had Snarl right now. So I could Snarl and Flamethrower the Cartana slot. Um, we're going to Flamethrower the Cartana slot. And we're going to... Hammer arm the cart on the slot. Um, it, we know it can't protect. Um, I think I don't know if he can. If he can, he can take us out with the Tapu Fini. Even at minus two, I feel like he can take nine, eight, 19 HP. I just feel like it's safer to. Um, I think if I can get rid of this Cartana, I think I can one v one the Tapu Fini. To be honest, with the Arcanine, it's just literally getting rid of this Cartana. There's a Sacred Sword. We live it. There's the Flamethrower. Okay, we took out the Cartana. Good. Now, if he went after the bear, I think we're in the best position. There's the Muddy Water. Bar Crits. Bar Crits, okay. There's our Papa Berry, which is actually coming in super clutch right now, so I don't, I don't actually have to... Um, I can go for a Snarl here. Or, 
I can go for the Toxic here. The Toxic's where I want to go, because we know at this range, we are faster, we can get the Morning Sun off, and... So we go for the Toxic onto the Tapu Fini slot. So again, bar the crit. I think we can kind of hold off here. There's the Calm Mind. Good, good, good. That's fine. We know we can Snarl next turn to completely negating that boost. As long as we don't miss the Snarl, I think we're in a good position. Zark and I really clutching through here. Maybe. We'll see. Again, we just gotta kind of, it's kind of, we gotta live on the edge hoping not to get a crit. Arcanine you Snarl, negating that boost. Goes for Muddy Water. Now we just gotta, for the, with these we gotta watch for the accuracy. Accuracy. Oh. Okay. There's the accuracy. That's gonna actually really hurt us because that's gonna mean Snarls are probably gonna miss. Um, but as long as he doesn't boost, I think we're pretty in an okay spot. And we, if we know if we boost, we know we can hit him before um, he attacks so we can nullify the boost. So we're gonna click Morning Sun here. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had PV Max this. This is the second time I've said that. So after this video, I might PV Max this um, Arcanine. Because I only have four more Morning Suns. Thing is back up to 124. There's the muddy water. Okay. There's another accuracy drop. There's that. There's the here's the poison. I don't know if Tapu Fini gets access to recover. That might be an issue there if he does. Um, we still gotta cl keep clicking Morning Sun at the moment. Um, so we're gaining a little bit more back than he's deal doing to us, which is good. Because last time we were at 24, we're, we're, we're gaining a net 10 HP pretty much. Uh, roughly. There's the Calm Mind. Okay. So we, we have two accuracy debuffs right now. See how much this poison does before we decide what we're going to do for this turn. Still leaves him in the green. That really sucks. Um, accuracy is down by two stages. We could Morning Sun up to full and use one of our last two Morning Suns. We live it. And... I think that's what we do. Because I think the poison after this turn is what does Tapu Fini in. So I think what we do is we go back up to full, we live it at, at the Calm Mind. I mean, bar crit. We, it's literally in the last two turns that crit matters. So we're at full HP. Tapu Fini goes for Muddy Water. Luckily we can't miss... Oh! Oh, that was crit. Crit? No, okay. Third accuracy boost. Or debuff, sorry, debuff. There's that. Okay, so this is the turn. He literally clicks recover if he has it. If not, I win. Or if he gets a crit, he wins. So recover, crit, he wins. Everything else barring that, I win. There's the morning sun. Okay, there's the Muddy Water, he doesn't have Recover, so no crit, I win. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there! There's the Leftovers, but we take it. We take those wins here. Oh my god, that was such an exhilarating battle, that was 19 minutes.
Oh my god, Arcanine really pulling through there. That came down to the wire. Oh my god, that was, that was, I almost want to cut it after one episode, because that was long. But, er, ah, uh, hmm. I think we're going to cut it there, actually, because that was a 20-minute battle, and if we get another long battle, that'll take it, like, close to 40 minutes, and I really don't want that. So I think we're going to end it there. I ha I'll have a second battle for, um, I have a battle for my stream coming up. We either come up today or tomorrow, so that'll be the replacement for the second battle today, and Saturday we will get doubled battles in, or we'll, we'll get, maybe we'll get three battles in. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe two. I don't know. So let's see where we're sitting. Uh, we would do I don't want to say the battle video. Why did I say the battle video? Okay. So let's see where we're sitting real quick, like. Continue battling. And we are sitting at a 1517. I will take it. So, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. I will see you in the next every video. Don't forget to check out our PokeRest vs. the World content and our Nuzlocke. We're getting into the meat and meat and, like, everything of this game. It's super exciting. Lusamine. Um, real, like, Pony Island, we're just getting into the amazing parts of the game. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye!